Are you looking to generate an interface like this or this, maybe this one or like this one with an AI model? Then maybe have a look at this newly released model UI Gen X in 32 billion parameter size. I have been covering these UI Gen models for quite some time. Early on, they were not there yet, but I think they are evolving quite nicely. I will still keep my expectations reasonable because I think there is still a long way to go where model would be able to generate these professional looking interfaces in a single or zero shot. Anyway, in this video, we are going to install this UI Gen model locally and then we will check out how exactly to generate these user interfaces. I will be using view text prompt to do that. Maybe we will get some pleasant surprises. This is Fahad Pizza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel as it helps a lot. So what I'm going to do here in this video, I'm going to first give you a very, very quick overview of this model. And then we are going to test it out. And even before that, let me start the installation process. So I'm going to use this Ubuntu system. I have one GPU card, NVIDIA H100 with 48 GB of VRAM. The tool which I'm going to use in order to get this installed is VLLM. It's a very lightweight inference engine which is going to serve the model locally. If you don't know how to install it, what exactly that is, just go to my channel, search with VLLM and you should be able to find this video. Now going here, I already have VLLM installed and I'm going to serve this UHNX model on my local host at port 8000. So let's run this. And this is going to download the model and the model size is around uh, 14 shards and it is primarily based on Quen 3 model and if you're looking to rent a gpu on very good prices you can find the link to master compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50 percent for range of gpus so let's talk about this ui gen model a bit so this is a specialized model, which is designed for reasoning driven user interface generation. Unlike general purpose models, this UI Gen X follows a structured multi-phase thought process before producing the code for the user interfaces. It starts with a problem analysis, and then it moves through architecture planning, design system, definition and implementation strategy. The reasoning only approach means the model doesn't just generate UI code reactively. It first thinks through every requirement, constraint and best practices, enabling it to produce well-architected, maintainable front ends across a wide range of tech stack. There is no backend generation here. And I believe even if model could generate some front end and you don't have to worry about angular.js or a node or all these next.js and all this stuff maybe it could be a big big thing also ui gen x32 billion is packed with deep support across 26 technologies um, in the web which includes mobile web desktop and python ui development it handles everything from react with next.js and tailwind css to flutter react native electron and even niche frameworks like SwelteKit or Quick. Its styling intelligence covers utility for systems, for example, Tailwind, CSS and JS libraries, and component-based design systems like Material UI or Chakra. The model also supports advanced visual styles from glass morphism and neomorphism to cyberpunk and brutalism, allowing developers to specify aesthetic directions as easily as technical stack. With native understanding of state management using Zustan and Pinia, which are the animation libraries, it also goes with frame motion and GASP, uh, GSAP, sorry, and icon systems like Lucide, and the list goes on and on. It can also generate complete cohesive UIs that are both visually consistent and technically sound as per their model card. But proof is in the pudding. So once this is installed, we are going to check it out. Okay, so the model is downloaded and now it is being loaded onto my GPU. And the model is loaded and you can see it is consuming just touch over 61 gig of VRAM. So model is quite big. Hopefully it will perform as good. 
and the model is now being served on our local system let's now check out how exactly to use it now in order to use this model you can go two ways either you just create your own python code and then access that vllm endpoint or you could just install this web ui which has been provided in this github repo by the test late ai which is a company behind this ui gen model so first i'm going to show you how you can simply create or install this one uh, and then i will show you how to use it now in order to do that all you need to do is to git clone this repo so grab the link of it and i will drop the link to it in video's description too open a new terminal window and then git clone this repo and cd into it and now make sure that you have node and npm installed i have a recent version of node installed and also npm if you don't know how to get these things installed just search my channel i already have done a very simple to follow video so just do npm install from the root of the repo and once that's done all you need to do is to simply just go to open this repo in vs code or whatever editor you want and make sure that you have set your um, entry like this normally when you git clone the repo you don't have to change anything so in the repo client white.config.js make sure this is set like this and then the most important bit is to go into source directory go to app.jsx and make sure that you add your new model here by default it just includes these three so i have just added this top one which is our actual latest model now this is all you need to do um, in terms of configuration once that's done simply go to your terminal back and then run this node server.js it is going to start that gui on your local system and you can then access it on that port 3001 so let me take you to my browser and there you go so you see it is running on port 5173 because it is being proxied there and from this drop down you can select multiple models the previous ones too but i'm just going to go with this ui gen one maybe i'll just ask it create me an interface for a dating app let's see so it is going to think because it's a reasoning model you see it is first understanding my problem and then it is creating a plan it is going through multiple alternatives and then it is deciding on okay this could be the proposed section this could be the color scheme thinking is done and now it is designing my interface in a html one and it is saying that i am going to create a sleek modern dating app interface so let's wait for it to finish it is generating all the scripting all the html elements and i'm just going to wait for it and it is all fully loaded onto gpu as i already showed you so let's wait for it to finish and then we will see what it has generated and there you go it took around five minutes to create this uh, interface and i'll just scroll up to show you the whole reasoning so it finished thinking above then it generated the code and towards the end it is giving us a quick synopsis and key features of this interface as you can see here these are the elements and on the right hand side this is the whole thing where i think looks quite good in in zero shot one pretty good uh, it has all the in in ingredients and i'm clicking on these tabs it is uh, you know giving me some data it doesn't change here but of course it's a user interface now if you are a ui developer or front-end developer please please let me know what do you think about this let's check out the code so this is a code which i showed you earlier look even if this code doesn't work fully i think this could be a good starting boilerplate code which you could use and then you can build on top of it this reduces the development time a lot really seriously okay let's try to build another thing so what i'm going to ask it is to build me a responsive admin dashboard for a SaaS analytics platform i will run it and then we will read through it so hopefully it will let me stop here okay okay i'll just grab this and show you what i'm asking okay there you go sorry maybe i'll just paste it in my vs code window 
and we can read it from there while it generates it okay so this is what i'm asking it to do to create me a re responsive admin dashboard for a SaaS analytics platform using next.js and tailwind css use a dark theme with subtle glass morphism effect on cards include a collapsible sidebar and then there are a few other features which i wanted and i wanted to ensure mobile responsiveness and use modern ui patterns like subtle over animations and that sort of stuff okay it is now generating the code so let's wait and there you go in the first attempt it has produced this where user analytics and all that stuff and then i have just collapsed it i'm just going to close this it's not letting me close but anyway i think yeah this one is good this is what i wanted to test if i go on top of it when i hover around it it is quite responsive and then graphs also look good and this one is also quite nice of course i think the editor is not uh, the interface which they have provided is not that good but other than that it's not bad at all and this is a code which it has generated i think this could be a good starting point okay let's try out another one maybe i will just refresh it so that uh, i will have a new chat okay in the next one i'm asking you to generate me a react native app for habit tracking uh, app using expo the app should have three tabs dashboard calendar and profile and then there are various features let's see if it is able to do that so it generated the code but i'll just take you up i don't want to give you a polished demo so previously it generated the code but it didn't display it on the right hand side so i have asked it to again uh, display the interface let's see if this time it displays it or not and this gives us a true picture because there are a lot of uh, you know intricacies and nuances in these tools because we are working at the bleeding edge they break a lot they fail a lot so i just wanted to show you if you are facing these issues you are not alone we just have to keep trying and then uh, making sure that we get what we want out of it okay, it has generated the code and this time it has given us a full answer and it is also telling us how to run this app and just because i think due to the nature of the code it's not really displaying it but i think it would be nice if it would have displayed some sort of uh, html but anyway i think it has at least provided us the full code i will just walk you throughout if you are a developer in this technology please also confirm especially in react native as what do you think about this code so this is a react native code the whole app.js is there cool okay let's try out one more so what i'm going to do in this one i am asking you to create me a dashboard ui for a b2b analytics platform using react and all that stuff so let's see if this time it shows me and there are a lot of other features around navigation bar some recent activity table and then i'm asking it to use some modern ui patterns and there you go this time it has produced that dashboard which looks really good it is quite modern and you see i'm hovering over it and it is quite responsive this is the recent activity everything looks quite good and you see it's pretty well designed so look i could play i keep playing around with it but now you can run it locally and check it out you can check out the licensing and all that stuff on their model card it is apache 2 which is very very permissive this is really good on them but again if you want to use it for commercial purposes check out this license i'm not a licensing expert so i know this question will come but what you can do here is you can like the video and subscribe to the channel and share it among your network that's a bit you can do i'm sure thank you for all the support